looks like they're in some side of Chitin. Like, she's scraping at it, and then she just starts... She grabs it from the top and just starts tearing open. But she says from below, it's like, heads up, people are coming down. Yeah, okay, I'm a, I got it. <laughs> this is a dex. Uh, five, I mean, come on. That's... Yeah, literally, it's like there's... If I had to count, most of them are not men, they're women. So there's like maybe two guys, but most of the other three are female. So they look like, um, if anything in common, they look like priests of some sort. Holy man. So the first one, like the first one is a man in robes and he's falling to the ground and you, you, I guess, catch him. Yeah. You catch him and okay, start so. to um, cut. So they, like, Olga's not stopping. You need to roll more dex rolls. Cause it's like, she's just going from one pot to the next, getting them out of the tree as fast as possible. So, that's one, two, three, four. So you're just, like, catching men like a weird... Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got one more. So, that's four out of five. Okay, so, um, got so you're good. You wouldn't have been able to fail anyway. You have a dex above five. Okay, so she's just climbing... Like, she just leaps out of the tree and just lands. And she's checking the bodies... Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four... Two of them are dead. One man and one woman. Like, she t- she, she basically does a quick check medically, and it's like, you know, these two... Like, she puts aside the two bodies that are dead. The rest are unconscious. It's, and she's just getting up, like, from checking them. It's like, okay, can one of you explain to me what's going on? I mean, first of all, what is that thing... What is up with this tree, and why are these people unconscious? Good question, because I have no idea. I got sent down here to find, so, find a woman. Yuki's, like, <laughs> sniffing the air, and then she just approaches the creature. It's like, aha! That's what it was. Dark magic. So, if I had to guess, he was corrupting holiness in order to create dark magic for himself. Uh, It's like, what better uh, conduit for negative energy than to defile that which is holy? It's like, you have any... (laughs) And she smiles, she's like, you have any other ideas? Yeah, I know. (laughs) So... (laughs) So Malice is like, doesn't matter what it was, it's dead now, and they're safe. We should probably get back now. So... five. So three of them are still alive. Yeah, so it's like, so what are we going to do about them? I mean, how are we going to sling them miles? It's only four of you, and there's three of them you have to sling. They're all unconscious. So, can you... Do you guys think you can haul three people back on your own? Uh... Hole, uh, like, so, uh, big, this is a strength a challenge. This is above 20. So, if you want to carry one person each, you have to each have a strength above 20 in order to do so. Like a strength roll of above 20 to get that. Oh, you have the fan of steed, which you could cheat. It's just, uh, <laughs> you could just put <laughs> them over the, the steed like saddlebags. Yeah, at least one person. Yeah, so. Uh. Yeah, it's only big enough for one person. So you put you summon a phantom steed and you have one, but you still need to carry two more. Yeah. Well, Isha being one of them. Yes, I'm gonna carry Isha. Okay. Uh, and you immediately get wry looks from both of them. It's like, <laughs> like well, from I... Yuki and from Malice. Like you know, you're you're choosing to pick up the woman instead of the man. Just uh, what what is your intent there? <laughs> I got sent on this mission to save her, and that's what I'm gonna do. It's like, and Yuki's like, yeah, sure, that's your intent. Hey, then just Malice the just says it outright, it's like, I don't think we have to worry about the snake doing the defiling. Hey, would you sound conscious? Jesus. And, and, they've been, and Yuki's like, kind of chuckling there, it's like, when has that stopped you? So they're, they're joking at your expense. It's like, you know, when is that... This is like, girls unconscious... It's like, alright, then Olga's like, alright, jokes aside, we gotta get moving. 
So she's going to roll strength, which is not enough to pick up a body. Yuki's going to roll her strength, and then last but not least. This is a 20 challenge. I don't think any of them are strong enough. Nope. Even with advantage on that one, that's still... None of them are strong enough to really... They'll have to cooperate, so... Yeah, I mean, it's going to be like, Yuki and, and Malice are going to sling one between them. You're going to carry one. We can do the thing with yeah. the, 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 the... Wait, you, your combined strength of you and her is not enough. Like, you try to pick up Isha, but you, like... Yes, uh, you can make a show... Like, you try to pick her up, but you have a show of weakness. It's like, you pick her up for a little bit, and then you have to put her down again, because she's kind of heavy. And, yeah, between you, Olga, and... Let's see. Because it's 10, 17... I don't think numerically you can carry enough, unless you, can, like, can... I'm maybe gonna, if maybe. you like it'd be Yuki you and Yuki would have to carry one and then maybe Olga and Malice would carry the other just in terms of strength that would match I mean you could probably put two people on one horse yeah well I don't know let's see if you you can give it a shot well that's a that's a random chance so are you gonna try to put a body on there like a second person on the horse no, because I'm in far too late with this. I'm gonna use Wish first. <laughs> okay. Using a power of magic. And then teleport. <laughs> teleport where? Teleport where? Oh, I wish we were back in town. Back. Yeah, and basically. Wait, you're you're teleporting back to where you just were. Back to town, yes. Back to town. That yeah, is, and like, uh, Olga's looking at it, it's like, why didn't you just do that to begin with? That would have saved us a lot of time. Yeah, to... I was just checking. Jesus. It's like, alright, so I'll just drag him in. Like, um, you see that you opened a portal and the portal goes to the bar, and you see, like, the bar patrons just looking actually, through the portal. I, it's like, what? Yeah, he still has to roll. Oh. No, actually, I have a associated object. I have a rapier, actually. From the town. I don't. Yeah, his is. His... still have to roll 1d100. Yeah, you have to roll a d100, so. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, 30. What's that equal? That is, what I is all this stuff that. written here? I can't exactly... <laughs> so, first of all, what are you it's making? like? If it have rolled like a 100 or something, then he would have... Very familiar is the roll of... Um, let's see. 1 to 5, then it's... So, 1 to 5, 6 to 13, 14 to 24, and 25 yeah. to... Wait, what? That's all the uh, numbers, so... That is uh, the chance. And on top of the... The, the mishap, similar error, off target, on target. That's just real confusing. And they have... So, you got a 40... Wait, you got 49, so that means you're on target. Right? Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because he's been to a this he come on we've been to Masrix so many times by now it's a familiar place. So you got a forty nine year on target. So yeah, you open a portal in the bar, and it's like patrons are looking through like what is this madness, and they see Olga like um. They see Olga like uh, picking somebody up. Oh, that's she's trying to pick somebody up, but she's like she's barking at you like you know I need help here. She's kind of heavy. Actually, I just teleport them. There's no uh, no character through the teleport. It's not a dimension door. Oh, it's just straight there. You're just straight there. Yeah. All right. So let me gather you together. So. Well, How back to Masrick we go to then. Go. And I gotta hurry up because we gotta swap to the next per next group, and we gotta do it fast. Gotta go fast. Go so you're back in the bar. Insanic. Yeah, everybody's like, everybody's surprised that you're just suddenly back. Ta-da! And, you know, you're carrying Isha, or rather, you're getting help from Yuki to carry Isha. Yeah. And Yuki's just like, she just smiles and she lets go and sees if you can carry her. So, <laughs> that's a strength roll. Remember, it has to be above 20. Oh, 20, Jesus. So, you know, the the heroic hero, let's see what no. she got, and you don't have it, so she like... crumple over. Yeah, she just slumps over. And she's just laughing at that. 
And Malice and Olga are like rolling their eyes. It's like, you know, this is serious. <laughs> so, she's calling over. It's like, you know, somebody see to them. Do you guys even have a doctor in here? Like, Isha is the doctor. That's the problem. So, you she's asking somebody see them, but, you know, Isha's normally the medic, which you don't have a medic now. There's the uh, priest dude. Which priest dude? There's the a lot of priests. Oh, you mean Jesus? <laughs> you have the paladins. They can know. heal. So, Jesus is not around. The paladin, one of the paladins will be around. So, one of the minor paladins will be around to take some of the wounded. So, he's just lying around. Like, he's grabbing um. He's just putting them down somewhere. And, of course, you know, there's Refraco and there's. Uh, Tukri, they come running over. So Tukri, like she's she's part mad, part breaking down from everything. Like you know, you know, she thought she had lost her. So <laughs> she's part angry that it happened. She's part happy that she's back. So she's like holding her and crying, and Afraka's just trying to keep her stable. Paladin's using whatever magic he can, but it'll, it'll take a while. So. Oh. What now? So, Olga's like sarcastically walking back. It's like another happy ending. At least. Then the Lincoln they don't attack so. again. Okay, so moving on to the now. What now? We're moving on to the next group. That's what now. So, yeah. now we move back to. Battleground, which I don't think is the right one. I think we're actually on this one. <laughs> so, last I checked, what were you doing? Like, did you record where those bodies were going, or... Um... Did you decide where the bodies were going? Pretty much Didn't you the stone the and plane any plane dimension plane. doors. Yeah, so <laughs> those bodies aren't here anymore. That's that's why I asked, did you they're, record they're them already? The... Yeah, you've you've made me start calling demiplane dimension door, and it's really whatever annoying. they are, demiplanes. Well, well, dimension door is going through dimensions. Yeah. Demi okay. Plane did you get? Did you record plane. that these things are in a demiplane? I shall do that now. Yeah, please. Okay, so I'll remove those from the field. That one's missed. So what are you gonna do with him? What are you gonna do with him? Hmm. What do we do with Mist? I don't know. Well, you, you've missed for another hour, right? We could just leave. Like eight hours. Just leave. Yeah, we can <laughs> just walk away. Okay, let's walk away from the mist. Yeah, but what if he ends up, like, dead? So, who knows? And then we mysteriously get XP out of nowhere. So, you see that Claire is walking a little bit to the distance, and she's like, she's on the ground, she's tracking signs, and it's like, that's not natural. It's great. There are only four of them, and normally in groups of nine. And it's like, uh, she's like, she's asking you all, it's like, you know, come take a look at this. So she's touching the ground, and what she looks like, it what looks like footprints. It's like, you know. Could you give me permission for the bunny? I can't move it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, controlled by... Oh, that's easier. I don't have to put in a character sheet. I can literally just add controlled by. Now you can move the rabbit. Dude. Do you just have this random rabbit with you? Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> they look like the foot... The, the size and shape looks like the Legion, but it's like they're too lightly pressed in the ground. It's like, what do you guys make of this? Their armor is supposed to be heavier, right? So why is this footprint so light? You armor, I guess. Magic. It's like, uh... So, like, she's looking at you, it's like, do you guys track at all? Not do really. It's like... And it's like, and judging by these prints, there was supposed to be six of them. Two of them must have gotten away. But it's like, but judging from the direction... And she's like, she's uh, tracing it. Judging from the direction, they're heading that way. And she's pointing to the southeast. I can it's, like, it's like, of course, that could be a misdirection. 
So it's like, so she's looking back, it's like, so what do you guys want to do? Do you want to just follow the tracks? See where it takes us? Sure. It's like, uh, she's, uh, she's apparently becoming a little bit more of an adventurer, but she's still unsure of herself. She still needs confirmation from all of you. I pat her on the back. Okay. It's like, uh, and she kind of, she kind of cringes a little bit. It's like, what did we say about touching? Lead the way. It's like, it's like, yeah, you could have just said so. I don't know. I like touching you. That's like, uh, and she she does a, a backwards glance. It's like that doesn't make me feel any more comfortable. I smile. So she's uh, she's guiding you pat to the track. She's t- she's at a low crouch, she's trying to keep a low profile as possible, in case there's more legion in the area. What about the rest of you? How's your stealth looking? Ha! Huh. Do you even yeah, have you, to? Oh. Yeah, he she you um. Okay, well, what about the rest of you? Even that's it. I don't know. That's a crit fail. So, <laughs> so you're stealthy, but you do make a couple mistakes along the way. I mean, like some stuff, like you may accidentally run into a branch or something, or you might step on a twig. <clears throat> so, but it's like basics. Like normally, you're keeping in stealth, but you do a couple mistakes here and there. So, as for Adric. You have... You're stealthy, but if uh, anybody who's actually anti-stealthing would probably see you. So, anti-stealthy. you know, in, in Say's eyes, you're being an amateur. I'd have to roll perception versus his stealth. Okay, so... Alright, well, are you going to bother looking, or...? No, I'm just saying, like, in terms of if you were looking, you'd look. he would look like an amateur. Because his stealth is not as... Uh, Especially since he's he's still getting used to the giant suit that he now wears. It's not that giant. It's not that giant, but it's still a giant. It's still a suit of metal armor. <laughs> Makes a lot of noise. Even if you're under, even if it's undergrowth, just the just moving alone makes noise. Okay, Heart Flame does not share your stealth, which means she is going to have to roll her own stealth. Which she has that of zero. <laughs> she has a she has a stealth of zero, or a stealth modifier of zero, and it doesn't seem to want to initialize. There we go. Okay, so her stealth is what sixteen. So everybody else, like in, compared to say everyone else, is not as stealthy. Because to say it's like she can go invisible and stuff, so she's a master at stealth compared to them. So you're moving forward, and you realize like, she she tells you to stop right here, and she points ahead. And what you see is like you're not quite sure what you're seeing. So this is a perception challenge of crate that's like fifteen. So so fifteen nineteen. Okay, so what? I don't know. Say, do you actually want to, for novelty's sake, just okay? <laughs> so you're not paying Two attention. So what are you doing during all this time? Petting the bunny, obviously. Okay, so you're petting the bunny. Everyone else is trying to get a good view. I think Adric is the only one who really spots it, and that's it. Looks like a low rise, like it's blended into the jungle, but you can definitely tell that it's man-made and it's got some sort of wall around it. Or rather, maybe it's sunk into the into the floor of the the jungle. So it starts about here, and it's a rather it's a reasonably large place. It looks like it anyway. And from a far away distance, you probably wouldn't have seen it. But so Claire uh, training uh, Claire, whatever instinct kicks in, she goes prone. She just it goes as flat as possible. Are you guys going to follow her, or is everybody just going to watch her? Just go prone. Yeah, I've collapsed. Probably so. slightly on her, because of the tight quarters. Okay, so... And she just, she tries not to say anything, just because, you know, we it's like, we had an agreement yet. <laughs> no, so. as in, like, I'm just like, she falls down, I fall down also, but, like, Look okay. at this, we're like right next to each other. I'm probably also touching. Yeah, and Heart Flame does the same. 
And it's like, she's got, Heartflame's got like a wicked smile on her face, and she's trying to ignore it. So, Adric, do you, do you, um, Anna's talking to you, it's like, well, do you fall suit? Like, are you gonna go prone, or yeah, are you just yeah. gonna stand there? I go prone, too. So, roll a stealth. This is, a, okay, this is 20. All those? So, it sounds like a ton of bricks when you hit the ground. <laughs> So you try to go down reasonably, but you know it's still relatively loud in the quiet of this of this forested area. Bunny says, "Shh." Okay, so that's not the worst of it. It rarely is. Huh? So let's see. You guys have a good view of the wall. You see someone get on top of the wall. And I don't think you've seen these guys before. You see, like, a, it looks like a small man just gets on top of the wall, but he doesn't look like a man. So. Ernie so He starts, like, he starts pointing in your guys' direction. Not exactly at your position, but in your direction. And you see that, like, there's a couple of... There's a couple of environers heading your direction. Like, they're doing a slow creep, and behind them is one of their captains. So they're pointing your direction, and then they're slowly creeping out toward the forest. They have their guns drawn, in case it goes hostile. Well, their guns are attached to their arms. So yeah, so, drawn. but guns drawn meaning, like, their guns are up. Like, they're, they're pointing them forward, and they're ready to fire if need be. So, they're slowly creeping forward... And the weird man on top is like he's cocking his head and he's not quite sure what he's feeling or what he's sensing or anything. So it's like, and Claire's she looks like Claire's trying like not to panic. It's like, all right, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I teleport all of us behind the man. Okay, so can you mass teleport like that? Yeah, me and as many people per level. Okay, so so you just like touch? Uh, do you have to touch anybody, or is it like? I think so. Where does it say you can bring along other people? Because I thought that was just yourself. Willing creature of your size, or small? Oh, one one willing creature. So who are you bringing? Um, Adric. Okay, so <laughs> so you just leave them behind in the wilderness. Oh God! All right. Well, I'm sure they'll be fine. So, Adric, you're gonna. Actually, no. Um, I'll bring Claire because Adric. Oh, is... oh God, that's. All right. So. <laughs> she wants to be an adventurer. Let's show her how to be an adventurer. Okay, so you touch her, and the, you know, just um, you teleport to behind the the strange man. Ah, <coughs> uh, that may have not been a wise idea. Yeah, the camp's full of dudes, right? Yeah, the camp is full of people, and but most of the you're in, the only luck you have is that most of the soldiers in the camp have not noticed you. So, you see that there's these massive siege things in the center of the. There's at least three of them in the center of the camp. So you have a quick. This is a quick double take of. There's um. You're right in the middle of them. You see that there's uh. There's like two of the captains on the walls. You see there's a bunch of legionnaires in the courtyard. It's not as numerous as it looks. We are now both invisible. So, do you see that the thing's head whirls around and then he casts this? So, like, almost like in one... Oops, damn it. I thought I had fixed this. Every time I I have to double check and see because uh, when I edit things, I always put it to whisper so that the chat isn't clogged with text of monsters. So I just I had to fix it again for like the so he does this. <coughs> so he senses the build up of magic and he just points in a random direction. Hey, Trick, there's a command called, like, slash talk to me, or talk to myself, or something like that. Say what? Just use that instead. When you're editing stuff, I think there's a command called, like, um, talk to self, or talk to myself, something like that. Yeah, you know how much effort that takes when I have to do that for every single macro? <laughs> well, no, you just turn it on or off. Okay. Or whenever you're editing stuff. 
That's okay. I, I already have a method. I'll just use that method. Anyway, counterspell, which is, uh, what level did you cast that at? Four. Four. So four or higher, you have to do a DC 10 plus, what's the, so it's DC 14. So that is, he has to do an intelligence check. Can he counter your spell, or is he going to, like, completely miss? <laughs> so that is a yeah, so... You cast the spell, he throws up his hand, and then you're Wait, in plain how sight. How did he detect me? Say what? How did he detect me? God damn it. Because he can sense magic. But wouldn't that be divination magic, and I'm immune to divination magic? Not so <laughs> much. Like, he's not using divination, he just he just kind of guessed, really. It's like he kind of so felt the presence. And remember, they're secondary, which is they can sense through sonar, so... Even the slightest movement and the slightest um, tap on the ground is enough to kind of set him off. So he just did a reactionary thing. It wasn't even that he thought anyone was there. Okay. So to his surprise, he turns around, he sees two people at him, and he's like, he's trying to raise an alarm. Let's see what his initiative looks like. Uh, his is lower than yours, so you have a chance to do something before he has a chance to raise the alarm. So let's see, you're, so, then Adric goes, and then the enemy, so. So you cast, dominate, he has to do DC 25 Wisdom, which, no, doesn't do it, so. He has some sort of shielding on his mind, but you just tear through it like it's paper. Okay. Um, I tell him to kill the Environers. Okay, so he can't. Isn't that you can't tell him hostile things? Like if you charm them. No, he he does. Like as long as I think. Oh, it's attack that creature! Yeah, side. you can tell him attack that creature. So. Can't do um, hostile th things towards him himself. So yeah. what he does is. You see him pull out a strange crystal, and he casts this on the nearest environment, like one of the captains. <laughs> So, like that, and then... But he resists. That's not bad. He resists, and he responds, like he says, Security breach! Security breach. Security breach. Well, shit. Yep. So, Adric, you're up. Oh, wait, do you have any more moves? Claire's oh, like... Yeah. Claire doesn't... Um, Claire's like, quick, back up to the far end of the wall and just get as low as you can. We'll avoid most of their fire. Okay. I'll make sure that I am covering Claire. Yeah, so... And she's, like, looking around for objects to throw in her way. It's like, damn it, <laughs> they didn't leave anything up here for cover. And so, she comes up with the clever idea. It's like, just put the mage in front. <laughs> okay. Mage, in front. Okay, so so he just wanders in front of everything. That's like you know he's I guess being the the distraction. Okay, so I also throw the bunny at one of them. Just in the face. Wait, what about the rabbit? I throw the bunny at the face of one of the guys. Okay, so it's kind of a distraction. Like there's this bunny scrabbling around his head, and he's like reaching up his arms trying to get it off. Looks like he's just got a bunny for a head. Yep. <laughs> okay, so Adric, you're up. It's um, they just teleported in, and you're left with the environment. With the, uh, you're in luck because that called uh, that security breach just called them back. Like they're turning around, they're going back the other way. So I'm, I'm from stealth then. Uh, um. Yeah. Currently, you're in stealth, but now you gotta. I don't know what you're gonna do. Anyway. Alright, then I'll, uh, I'll shoot at this one. Okay, so... It's in my stealth Oops, sorry. Advantage. I moved you on accident. So you rise up from stealth and you aim your weapon. You actually have your weapon. You can you can roll it now. Yeah, I see that. Okay. I added those in because, well... Why is that rolling advantage? 
Or you get advantage when you attack from stealth. Very true. <laughs> so, so it ricochets off their armor. They're not being deterred. I mean, I guess they took a bit of bullets and then it just it didn't penetrate their armor. So still nothing, and still not distracted. Like they're taking a fire from the jungle, but the captain's like, "Ignore it. We must protect the keep." Fire from the jungle. Because they're not because taking, like, you know, one of them shouted out, you know, taking fire, but, you know, it's not penetrating his armor, so. What about hot flame? Of course, hard flame, yeah, why not? <laughs> so. I think she'd do that. So it's like, uh. Oh, fire palisade. So. <coughs> like. Basically a, a 60 them. foot long, 20 foot high, and 5 foot thick wall of fire. Or just a. Can you... You can just draw it, right? Just draw a giant flaming wall. Can it be circular? Or does it have to be a flat wall? <laughs> it doesn't... It could be a wall that's a... A really long wall, actually. The wall is like 20 feet... 60 feet long, so... Hmm. Pretty long wall. Okay. You don't have to use all 60 feet. You can do up to a certain limit. So just, you know, where are you going to put it? Just draw it. A square... That's where the wall's gonna go? No, I'm just trying to figure out the size of this goddamn thing. Yeah, it's pretty big. 30, 40, 50. It's actually a little longer than that, but you can use that size. So this giant flaming wall, they didn't see it coming, and they're gonna take fire damage, but they have something else in mind. Okay, so I edited all this stuff, but yet it didn't edit properly. So you see that first, like, they, they get hit with the fireball, but Adric, you're the closest, that's perception. So, perception challenge of fire. Oh, come on. I guess because you're point blank range, that would make the most sense. So, this wall of fire goes up, and you see there's this weird shimmering haze around them. Like, it seems like the magic is coming into contact with some sort of shimmering haze on their plating. And they seem unharmed. I mean, like, they're, they're in the fire. They're trying to get out of the fire. <coughs> they're even saying it. It's like, you know, Magic casters, get out of the flames! <laughs> get out of the flames. So, um... Which way are they going now? I guess they're going back your direction now that they see there's a mage down there, so we should probably deal with that. Well, let's see. They're trying to get out of the flames. They have to move. Remember, they can move 40 feet at a time, but they're going to take fire damage on the way out. <coughs> but again, it only it hits the it hits the shimmering haze. It doesn't like you can see that they're just walking through the fire casually. Wait, aren't they meant to get above 50 to protect themselves? Uh, not their armor. This is the member. This is the mark. There's a huge explanation there. You'll have to figure it out later. But this is this suit is more advanced than the one you just fought. How? It's been less than an hour. Because the suits you fought were still Mark Ones, just with minor modifications. They were Mark Two. <coughs> said they were Mark Two. I said the suit has been upgraded to Mark II, but the ones you fought were just... They looked like Mark IIs, but they weren't Mark IIs. They were just Mark Ones with uh, these added little bonuses like Stealth Field, but they still acted like Mark IIs. These ones would be identical. So these ones have different levels of tech. So... But there is a, there is one good side, which is you see as they're leaving the flames that they are starting to, like... That weird shield that they're surrounding them shatters, like, with the sound of, like, popping glass. And they're starting to take fire damage to their actual hide. Which is, uh, your deck save is, what is your deck save? What is your deck save? I think it was, like, 15, wasn't it? I don't think she, does she even have one? It's usually your intelligence, like, plus your modifier. Or not your intelligence, it's, like, 10 plus your modifier. Yeah, but she doesn't have a level. Hold on, let me go check. Like, uh, it should be in here. She is considered a spellcaster, so it should be in here. 
Uh, it is DC of... I think the DC is off. No, that's accurate. You haven't improved her, so... She has a DC of 12. How does someone start with a DC of 12? Because she doesn't have a lot of intelligence. So her intelligence is still 12. <laughs> or it's still uh, 14, so she only has a plus 2 on it. So it's 10 plus 2, it's 12. Okay, so... Yeah, but wouldn't her proficiency bonus be added to that? What's her proficiency bonus? Well, she doesn't have a proficiency bonus. That I know yeah, of. Yeah, because she doesn't have a level, so that can't be accurate. Alright, I'll have to fix that later, so... Let's just assume it's 15 for now. <laughs> Okay. So that's the average. So, Oh, that's the wrong save, too. That should be a... What is that? Dex? Yeah, that should be a dex. So get out of the fire. So they're, they're sprinting out of the fire, but they're still taking some damage. They take half, right? Yeah, I think so. So they take... half of 33... If it just run, so 33 divided by 2 is they take 17 damage each. So, like, their armor is now smoking and they're covered in slight flames, but they're still sprinting through the battle. So, and obviously they see you because you're the closest target. It's like, there, target acquired! <laughs> so as they're sprinting toward you, they're, they're picking off shots with their wrist guns at disadvantage because they're just, they're running at you at the same time they're firing. So, even with this advantage, they are pretty accurate. Not so really, what so. is my armor class now? That yeah, your armor. suit's armor class should be like 25. Because it's a Mark 1, it's not a Mark 2. So you should have an armor class of 25. So there, you're, the shots are ricocheting off your height. That's good. <laughs> That's, uh... So... Then you see the captain's like barreling through with both guns armed. And he's also doing a... He's also picking off shots while he's running. <laughs> But your armor seems to be taking most of it. <laughs> and Anna just makes the comment, huh, tut tut, looks like rain. <laughs> Feels a bit like rain. Okay, so... Um, which is ironic, because yes, that is. The captain apparently does not resist as much fire. Like, he takes more fire damage. So, like, they're shimmering, that whatever shimmering shield they had on is disabled, and they're starting to take the damage, but now they're they're running at you. Okay, as for the... Um, the giant creatures are dormant, they're not active, but you see that the legionnaires in the courtyard, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get them active again. So you see, like, the, the teams are working extreme, as fast as they can to try and get whatever those are active. Meanwhile, these four legionnaires are trying to gun you down, but you, they're at disadvantage because they can't really see you. And secondly, they're not going to hit you either because you're in... Like, they're shooting upwards. You see that the courtyard is sunken into the the background. Do any of them fire at the Environ Air Captain because of the bunny? Okay, so... No. They're wise enough not to shoot their own captain. And plus, that but probably wouldn't help, so... So they're they're aiming up and they're shooting at where you guys are, but they can't really hit you at that angle. But they're sli they're slightly moving towards you. Let's see. The other captain he can't really get by because the first captain's like in like he's saying like get out of the way, but he can't really. This goddamn bunny. Okay, so. You see that there are two more captains rushing up from the other side. Uh, they are not going to fire. They're just rushing headlong into it. And they're, they're relatively fast, and they don't, they're not subtle either. Like, it's just a storm of metal coming towards you. Okay, so, back to you. <laughs> what, what do you do now? Well, I know what Rang does. Okay. Powered on where? Uh, one second. Where? Just... I said one second. Okay, so. So, you know, rang. Obvious madness. How many times have we used that today? So, this is the first okay. time. Right? No. 
Yeah, like I said, this is the, the first time today you've used it. Or have you used it already? Did you didn't you use it earlier in an earlier battle? To like last yeah. session? I've used it once. So so this is the second time you've used it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just I'm kinda of trying to keep track. So the environment's like their their hands go to their heads and it's like you know, the same thing as before. They they're like screaming and stuff and then they just stop moving. Anything happen to the whatever the fuck that is? What the giant it's not even active, so Okay. So okay. the captains, uh, let's see, the captains, they just go limp and they basically fall off the wall. Like the ones okay. that got caught in the blast. And they actually crush some of the, um, it's not fatal, so it, it just, it, it like crushes two of them. And so, but both captains, like both those captains just fell off the wall. Okay then, um, I'm going to command my friend dude to stop them from turning those things on. So, let's see. So, again, he just aims the same thing. Like, the second time, he throws a second one out on one of the environers that he, I guess, is important. So, nope. And he basically becomes trapped in something that looks like a crystal. So he throws like a, you know, he puts forward a crystal like he's holding. Now your your ally is like he has got this crystal which which looks like a very tiny environment in it, and he just drops it to the ground like it's garbage. <laughs> um. Then I shall. Hmm. That's something I was going to do. Isn't he supposed to be able to roll, like, against your charm? Or is he charmed, like, for a... I believe only when he takes damage. Okay, so he's charmed until he takes damage. So he hasn't taken damage yet, so he's just in mental domination. So, but good question. Thorn was heading this direction, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be probably, let's see, next turn... It's probably gonna be next round. After the enemy rolls like, again, that's when you burst out of nowhere. I mean, I mean, could have like probably got up to them just by traveling through a plane. Hmm? Yeah, he like plane shifts out yeah. of one of the environers chests. Could have probably. Yeah, that's what's going. Like, like you're just that. picking the right moment. So. Okay. Um. Hold on. Let me put you. Is... You're probably you got the higher, so you actually get an 18 because that puts you in like right there or somewhere. I'm not going to put it in descending because that's a bit uh, much. Okay, so. Got to keep it going, so. what do you, What's next? Um. I guess. Like, I Claire's from the awesome. side, it's like, uh. It's like. She's being sarcastic now. It's like, yeah, great plan! This is working out wonderfully. <laughs> it kind of is. It's like, uh. It's like, no! I was like, next time, just bring somebody else. So, you know, just to show, just to demonstrate, she snaps off a longbow shot at the nearest target, and it just ricochets. Like, see, why am I here? Um... <laughs> You want it to be an adventure, right? It's like, not like this. It's like, um... I also, I wanted to be a lot of things. I wanted to be a tamer and I wanted to be a mother. Both of those got ruined. <laughs> so you're gonna, you're gonna run over to... He's still clawing at the rabbit. And eventually he just grabs the thing and he hucks it over the wall. Oh, poor rabbit. Yeah, so... So he's trying to bring his guns up, but you're already you're already near him, and you're casting thunder wave. Which uh, he has to do a con save or be pushed ten feet away from me. Okay, so con save, which doesn't succeed. Okay. And what about the second one? 
Uh, you got a crit, so one of them's the one that's disoriented gets pushed off the wall. He's gonna crush the poor bunny. Uh, <laughs> no, the bunny does get out of the way, so. But like, yeah. he gets tossed over the wall. Apparently, the bunny landed on his feet, and it's now sprint. Uh, the, remember, the wall's not that high from the ground. So he gets hit. Actually, it wouldn't be. It is not a lethal fall, it just disorients him a little bit, because he got thrown over the wall. Does, does it, like, cripple him or anything? Does it cripple him? He's just, he'll be disoriented for a little bit, but it's like, it's he's gonna get back up eventually. Damn. Okay, so the other one just, he put both his arms in front of him and just took the blast. And so now he's still standing there, and you see that his armor is shimmering. It's got a weird sheen to it. And the sheen just pops at that moment. Huh. So... So he's looking down at you, it's like, big mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> I, I stick out my tongue. Okay, so, Adric, you're up. They're charging at you, and they they have guns flaring. Just. I'm going to go... I'm going to go back around there. Well, no, about here. <laughs> and so, like, they see that, it's like, quick, he's getting away! And I'm going to shoot at them again. Okay, so you're running and you're shooting. Remember, you're moving and you're shooting, so that's a disadvantage. No, no, I'm moving 30 well, and then I'm shooting. You're moving, stopping, and then like taunting and like shooting back at them. So yeah, and I'll shoot at the captain so that it, it ricochets. Oh, so it's like and and is like as you're shooting, it's like so. What's your plan? You know, it seems like you got four of them chasing you. So you know, his the shells ricochet off his armor, and he's still got his guns drawn. I'm going to use um. Where'd it go? There you go. I'll use this one on my second attack. Okay, so... So you have advantage on your next shot. There we go. Still nothing. Still ricochet. Shit. Their armor's rather class. tough, so... What the actual fuck? <laughs> their armor class is... Yeah, like I said, their armor's been upgraded slightly. Not by much, but it's enough to make it extremely durable. Lightly. Their armor was already like 25. Now the standard soldier's yeah, armor is 30, and the captains get the better one, which is 35. So just different, but and also it's uh, so you're moving the firewall like so. This is heart flame, moving the firewall to them. Their shields do not regenerate, meaning they're just going to take straight fire damage if they have to do dexterity. Plus that's a crit. Uh, no, not sets. Uh, I forgot this isn't just one number; it's multi numbers. So you can crit all the time with that. Okay, so deck save number one. Deck save number. Oh, that's the captain. So number two, three, and four. Their armor is still durable against fire, though. So. Well, they still take like. Yeah, they still take eighteen damage each. The captain is like, uh, you know, their their armor is so they're they're getting scorched a little bit. We still have a target to kill. We're gonna keep running at it. Okay, so Anna's like, I have an idea. Is she gonna pop out? Probably. <laughs> so. I don't think she can even hit these guys. Doesn't matter. She's invulnerable to most standard attacks unless it's magical. So she's like jumping out. I was like, Hey, look at me! I'm a ghost. <laughs> um, apparently that is a pretty good distraction. So, as one, they just open fire on her. So, they're still at disadvantage because they're running and gunning. They're trying to catch up to the target. Okay, so... Let's see, what is their standard damage? It does cold damage, but it does cold damage. It's non-magical. It's just standard cold damage. So, she's... Like, the bullets are passing through her, and they're hitting the ground where she is. Of course, they catch on and say, uh, ignore the ghost, go for the other target. <laughs> and so, like, two of them, they've already wasted their rounds, but the third one's aiming at you. So they're moving, let's see. They're getting relatively close, they're like almost point blank with you. 
So, 17, again, more ricochets, and then the last one, which is the captain, he's actually going to stop and aim this time, now that he's close enough. Which is, that is beyond your armor, you have an armor breach. Okay, oof. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll deflect some of that. So, he just took a, he took an accurate shot, and he, he hits you pretty damn hard. So, reduce it by 19, that's, hold on, let me check the... So this is both of his guns unloading as much as he can on you in the most in most of like he knows what Mark One armor is. He knows you're wearing a Mark One suit, so he's aiming for wherever's vulnerable. So you take with that you reduce it to 131. So you nearly the, got uh, killed in one volley. The Mark Ones had some kind of magic resistance on them too, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. you have uh, you have null plating. So let's see. Your null plating is able to absorb a good amount of the impact, but it shatters your armor. I mean, so that means you only take 78 minus the 19. You take 59 damage, but your null plating is shattered. Like you're you're now vulnerable to magic, or you're vulnerable to uh, to those type of elements now. Well, I'll take it. So obviously uh, Anna's going to try to stab him with a spear, but again, it's like, even at, as a ghost, she can't really hit anything. So she's like stabbing the spear through its body, but it's going through the body. You're supposed to hit the body, Anna. Yeah. And she's like stabbing multiple times, like, I'm trying to. So this captain, he has to roll a con to get himself up. Which is... He's fine, so he's up. But he can't really climb the wall, so he has to go around. That's for the other one. Say you're like in melee range, he can just use his shock fists. So, you know, as he says big mistake, he goes and reaches out with his shock fists. Which is a pretty devastating amount of damage. But I... As my reaction... Reciprocate. So... Reciprocate, so that is 25 Charisma, which... Charisma? Well, that's meant to be Dex. Okay, well, that's written wrong then. Apparently which he got 26, so not bad. Suit. So he takes half of it. Like it's Like you saw, their armor is surprisingly resistant to fire, so... So his so he's getting melted. You're getting electrocuted, along with that's supposed to. There's supposed to be a paralysis component combined with that, but apparently it's not. So these ones, you guys lucked out. These guys are armed with only shock fists. They only do electrical damage. They don't paralyze. And you'll start realizing that that not all of the legion are built standard issue. Oops, that's not correct. No wait, did you do that? That was me. Okay, so just make sure that's accurate. Okay, so back to... Let's see. Thorin, now's your time to shine. Where do you end up? So actually roll a... Roll a D100. Let's see if you can choose where you end up. Of course <laughs> you can, because you're Thorin. So where do you end up? I'll, I'll drag myself into the battlefield. How so? Or where are you dragging yourself onto the battlefield? So, you know, things are looking grim. It looks like they're doing some pretty heavy knocks. People are dying. Then all of a sudden... Out comes Thorin. Wait, what? Pop goes the Thorin. Probably want to go there. Okay. 